Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, my name is Muhammad Zamrud Zainal and thanks for watching my videos and uh, in these videos uh, I will uh, explain to you how we can uh, put a description for uh, a little bit more uh, advanced uh, pipeline profile into GAP okay so this is what we already show you in the previous videos it's a simple one in input output since it's on the plane horizontal so the TVD for inlet and outlet are the same because it's flat okay okay what if this uh, we are operating in at offshore we have to define a pipeline at offshore so this is a very typical configuration we have a platform that, uh, that the, the platform is being built in, mid in the middle of the uh, oceans and the production deck that is where all the equipment and your pipeline basically starts from the production deck which is way above the above the sea level it's typically between uh, 30 to 40 meters uh, at, uh, at height so so you, your pipeline basically uh, here in this uh, in this PowerPoint it start uh, start from uh, platform alpha which is the upstream of the pipeline then it's a vertical going down pipeline vertical section of the pipeline going down from the production deck until the seabed located at platform alpha so that define that give that can give you how long is this vertical pipeline sections. And then another sec section is the between the at the base of the platform of uh, platform alpha all the way to Bravo. So downstream, okay. So it's kind it, it can either be uh, uh, a in a horizontal plane where there is a same elevation from both sides or it can be various water depth at alpha can can be various and most of the time it varies from alpha to bravo so i will show you how to enter data later and then the third pipeline segment is the upward upward segment from the base of a bravo platform to the production deck on top of the production uh, Bravo platform. So to make it more clearer, let's go to the next slide. It's something like this. I give you a different example. Platform Alpha and this platform Bra uh, Bravo. These are the water depth. So as, as as you can see, the water depth at Alpha is different from Bravo. And at Alpha, the water depth is uh, 65 meters and at Bravo is 120 and of course the pipeline has to follow that from Alpha the pipeline goes downwards you can ignore this uh, small segment just just you, just you can just skip directly here if you have the information fine but if you don't just refer to uh, the start point of the part your pipeline is the vertical sections eh? which start at a negative 30 meters go down and end at 65 meters again the second segment start at 65 meters it goes to Bravo with the distance of from 0 to 200 so the distance here more or less 200 meters 200 kilometers okay and the water depth here is 120 and then it go up from 120 to negative 30 so you can estimate what is the total length here from here to here is 120 and from here to here is negative 30 so total is 150 meters but the, the way that we enter data into gap is somehow not as per what you, you see here the way we enter data is something like this we have to rotate it uh, uh, anti-clockwise uh, where the upstream is at, at the bottom and the downstream at the bottom so here I clearly define 
yeah, the pipeline segment, segment 1, segment 2 and segment 3 and I suggest you do the same translate the picture here from this part which is typical drawing that we get is probably this is what you can clearly see into this segment if uh, if you want to enter those pipeline information into CAD so it, you will make less errors because this is exactly as a sequence of data that we have to enter into CAD okay don't forget to put the water depth here or the elevations here because elevation is very important it's so easy to make mistake in elevations okay okay let's go straight to get okay uh, as usual if you want to create a pipeline you have to add two joints create join number one and join number two and then add link between those two joints okay you already create a pipeline double click okay if you are in the in, in, in summary screen go to input screen in the middle and it's under descriptions okay remember we have uh, to define there is a three segment of pipeline in uh, for this particular pipeline itself so we have to define line pipe line pipe and line pipe again if you lost just refer to the right hand side here there is uh, indication where the the pipeline uh, direction of uh, flow direction of the pipeline so upstream is at the bottom meaning the fourth row is the first segment of the pipeline which is the downwards vertical pipeline and the second uh, the third row here is to define the horizontal pipeline that travels from alpha to gravel and the third and the second row here is to define a pipeline under the third segment of the pipeline which is at bravo vertical upwards from the seabed to the to the production deck on top of a production uh, uh, pro uh, bravo platform okay okay let's use this uh, uh, diagram to and to help us to enter the data okay first segment is is the length we need to know what is the length of the first segment so the pipeline span from negative 30 to 65 so the total length here is 95 meters so specify 95 meters tvd so what is the start TVD for the first segment of the pipeline? The start TVD is because the start is here, okay, on the production deck of a uh, uh, alpha pla uh, platform, which is negative thirty. So enter negative thirty. pipeline size is 30, 30 30 inch for all of the sections so the pipeline size is uh, the pipeline size the pipeline ID inside diameters is 30 inch so this is uh, identical for three of all three of them so 30 inch check the unit whether it's the right unit or not okay let's go to the second pipeline uh, the second pipeline is here so what's the length of the pipeline from this diagram i can see that the, the length is 200 kilometers so just change the unit 200 kilometers and again, this is the start TVD of uh, pipeline segment number two. The start TVD, the segment number two starts here. At the same time, this is the end segment, uh, the, the end elevation of the segment one, which is 95. So let's enter 95 into gap, 95 meters. Pipeline size is 30 inch. Let's go to the last segment. And 
I'm not sure that the limit must be okay let's go to the the third segment what's the length of the third segment the third segment the, the vertical upward segment uh, lies from 120 to negative 30 so the total length is 150 meters check the unit the TVD, what is the start TVD of the this pipeline segment? The start TVD, okay. This pipeline going upwards, so the start point is here. Which, which also the end point of the second segment, 120. So let's enter 120. ID is the thing. And so the last column here is reserved for the end points of the the last the third pipeline segment. It's not zero, I'm sure. The last segment ends at negative thirteen meters. It's for the negative thirty. Okay, I'm more or less uh, happy with this data, but to uh, quickly QC the data go to the bottom click plot if your if the profile here is identical with the drawings that you have then you are in a good direction you are the end the data that you enter is is, is, is correct so yes we can finish click finish and that's all for the for the videos and I hope you you now are familiar on how to enter data into gap it's, it's quite confusing but uh, always refer to the right hand side here as a reference to, so that you, you will know uh, which direction is your, your flow line or your pipeline is okay okay uh, good luck in your studies and thanks for watching again don't forget to subscribe my channel. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.